Hello, this is Angie with PinterestCottage.net, and I'm here today for CraftsUnleashed.com to show you how to make these gorgeous yarn tassels. And what we're going to use today is some metallic gold yarn that's available on ConsumerCrafts.com, and I have one open right here. And then I have a piece of foam board, and it's about six inches in this direction, which is important. And then I took a small piece of yarn and taped it to the top, just with any tape will do. This is actually washi tape. And the yarn you tape to the top should be about six inches. And then we're going to start at the bottom. So my yarn end is at the bottom of my foam pull board. And I'm just going to start wrapping it around. So we want to wrap this around several times. And so I'm using foam pull board here, but you could absolutely use, say, um, a piece of thick cardboard, you know, some packaging material, just anything you have on hand. Just as long as it's stiff, so when you're wrapping it doesn't um, crinkle up or get smaller on you. So I am not counting how many times I'm wrapping this. I'm just going to wrap it until I think it looks pretty good and uh, go with it. So this is definitely a craft that anyone can do. I would even say, you know, get the kids involved in this one. It would be a fun project for them. Make these tassels and then we're going I'm going to put them on a garland. And pictures of that will be on craftsandleash.com, so be sure to check that out. I'm just going to make the tassel in this video. So I'm using metallic gold yarn because that's what um, I really wanted to give it a try. But any color yarn or type of yarn that goes well in your home can be used for this project. Now I'm done wrapping, so again I'm going to end at the bottom. This is the top where the tape is, and I'm just going to cut this yarn off. So use any type of yarn, any color of yarn you like. Pick up these ends at the top, and I just sort of pick them up and let the tape rip. Uh, you can absolutely just peel the tape away if you want to. All right, and now we're just going to double knot at the very top of this, as tight as you can get it. And two knots. Now we have it double knotted at the top, this is the bottom. And just pull until your yarn tassel comes right up the end. Now, don't lose those two ends that are at the top. What I'm going to use this for, I'm going to use them to later on hang our tassel on a garland. So I'm keeping them loose. So here's our piece. And so we need another piece of yarn. And this one is about 12 inches long. Doesn't matter, you can trim it later, you can cut it longer and trim it off. All right, so I just laid the tassel, unfinished tassel on top of that. And put it, say, about an inch down from the top, again, where we're knotted. And start wrapping it around really tight. And again, we're just going to double knot it as tight as we can get it, making sure these top ones are still loose. And tie it real tight twice. Now for the tassel portion. So these are all looped right now, where we had wrapped it around that foam pull board. I'm just going to pull them tight, cut them apart. Just keep snipping until you get all those loops cut. And you can just check for more loops. Now, when I put these all on a garland, I'm going to tie them to another piece of metallic gold yarn. And then I'm going to look for any stragglers. So, when we have a long piece like this, just said I cut mine a little long, you can just trim those to make your tassel nice and pretty. So, you can do that at the very end. So, I'm going to make a bunch of these tassels and string them all up in a fun garland. So, check that out at craftsandleash.com. Thank you for joining me today.